Hello and welcome to the history of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Today's episode we're going to cover Pearl Forrester. And here we go. Pearl Forrester is the mother of Dr. Clayton Forrester and the grandmother of Kinga Forrester on Mystery Science Theater 3000, as well as being a mad scientist in her own right. Introduced in Season 6, Episode Bloodlust, she became a regular in Season 7, when Pearl took the place of TV's Frank. After Frank Coffin departed the cast. Dr. Forrester invited Pearl to visit him in Deep 13, hoping to impress her with his experiments on the satellite of love. When she arrived, she instead took a shine to TV's Frank, who she had already been corresponding with without her son's knowledge. The two of them took off together to have fun, leaving a frustrated and jealous Forrester behind. Before TV's Frank died in Samson vs. the Vampire Woman, he had invited several guests to Thanksgiving dinner, including Pearl. When she arrived, she was disappointed at having traveled so far for only Frank to be gone. She decided to stay in Deep 13 to help Dr. Forrester get his life back in order. She also apparently met and befriended Crow, somehow prior to moving in and helping with the experiment, although she knew him as Art. Having his mother in his life proved to be a very trying thing for Clayton, as his mother ruled over him and his experiment with an iron fist, although he occasionally bested her. Among other incidences, Pearl dated a sleazy man named Sandy, and oversaw turning Crow's infamous script, Earth vs. Soup, into a trailer. Eventually, in the final Comedy Central episode, Laser Blast, she helped Dr. Forrest pack up and move back with her, after his funding is cut. At the end of the episode, Clayton ages, dies, and is transformed into a 2001-esque space baby. Pearl delights in that she has another chance to raise Clayton right as the episode ends. In Season 8, Mike Nelson and the bots return to the Satellite of Love, which had been drawn back to Earth, where it is now the year 2525. There, they discover Forrester alive, well, and the lawgiver to a group of sentient apes. She has vowed to start over right with Clayton, but somehow never gotten around to it, and he ended up turning out as warp and twisted as he had before. She eventually smothered him with a pillow, but then somehow blaming the SOL crew for his death, and herself cryogenically frozen so that she can seek revenge in the future. The apes thawed her out and helped her bring back the satellite. After ruling over the ape lackeys for only a few episodes, including the bumbling Professor Bobo, the future Earth ends up destroyed by a group of bomb-worshipping mutants. Pearl escapes in the Widowmaker, a Volkswagen van turned into a spaceship with stowaway Bobo. On another planet, she becomes the test subject of a group of omnipotent beings called the Observers, but escapes again after another world-destroying explosion, this time with Bobo and an Observer survivor, who becomes known as Brain Guy. From there, she and her two lackeys roam to different worlds, including a planet where they start out camping and end up taking care of three omnipotent space children, and a trip to the Roman times of Earth's past. In Season 9, she makes her way to Earth in the present and Castle Forrester, the Forrester's family ancestral home. There, she continues her work as a mad scientist with Bobo and Brain Guy, continuing the experiments of the satellite and terrorizing the local peasant population. In the season 10 finale, Diblocki, she accidentally breaks the satellite of love and sends it spiraling down to Earth. Realizing that the experiments are finally over, she leaves Castle Forrester to become the dictator of Quatar. Her first order of business is to put a U in the country's name. Her final words to Mike are, listen Nelson, move on, I am. The Netflix Era in experiment number 1102, Cry Wilderness, Pearl's granddaughter, Kinga Forrester, spots the Widowmaker driving by Move 13 and gets into contact with her in hopes of having some family time between them. Apparently, Pearl is just as bad as a grandmother as she is a mother as she spends the conversation looking for any excuse to escape Kinga and drive off. It is also revealed that Cynthia, the second of Kinga's assistants is a clone of Pearl that was created to keep her granddaughter company, presumably so that Pearl herself doesn't have to. Pearl did appear in Moon 13 to sing her 
when loving lovers love, song for Kinga and Jonah's wedding, before being scared away by Reptilicus. Pearl does not visit Moon 13 during season 12. Kinga makes the reference to her father having died 20 years ago, which would seem to confirm that the space baby Clayton was still a small child when Pearl killed him. Hey, thank you for watching the history of MST. Uh, almost, almost. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Special thanks to the MST3K Wiki and all of its contributors for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.